Now, the Nigerian army says it will continue to maintain a high level of standard in training of troops for peacekeeping missions in line with the ECOWAS and United Nations charters. Outgoing Commandant of the Martin Luther Aguai International Leadership and Peacekeeping Center, Major General Obinna Onubogo, stated this while handing over to Major General Adimola Adedoja as the new commandant of the center. Now, Major General Onubogo appreciated the staff of the center who continued to work hard to ensure Nigerian contingents to both ECOWAS and United Nations peace support operations are well trained. Maintains very high standards, I must say so, because of our association with ECOWAS and because of our association with the United Nations. Our pedigree and the fact that uh, we have worked together in several other areas that uh, it is something that you can handle very well and speedily. And so I want to thank uh, at this juncture all the staff, facilitators, and all those who have worked with me. So I've had a uh, very cordial relationship with these staff. Particularly the facilitators, I must tell you sir, that they are very, very experienced. All of them come with a range of various experiences from the United Nations and ECOWAS missions in various parts of the world. And so they are very good in delivering these courses that we give to our participants. The United Nations Center of Excellence trains potential leaders and peacekeepers on all issues concerning peacekeeping, particularly for a multidimensional uh, peace support environment, your courses for uh, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, and all other paramilitary agencies. We also train civilians at the center, those potential uh, civilians who want to deploy to the United Nations or other peace missions. Other ECOWAS missions, the center also caters for training for ECOWAS standby, for, standby force missions uh, as uh, directed by the Nigerian army. The new commandant showed that he will continue to build on the legacies already established at the center in training troops capable of carrying out the assignment ahead of them. The foundation that General Lubogu had laid uh, will try to work towards ensuring that his legacies remain and uh, improving on whatever it is that he has done. I also want to promise that my doors will remain open. Please feel free to approach me if there's anything you feel we could do to move the center forward.